Here I'm presenting a 40-year-old 40, 40 uh, patient who sustained left ankle close fracture dislocation uh, secondary to um, falling off the staircase. So on the initial post manipulation x-rays reveal um, a displaced a trimalleolar fracture with posterior subluxation of the talus. You can, you can see all the Im images of the x-rays, AP, uh, 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 lateral and also um, uh, mortise view of the x-rays with the displaced trimalleolar fractures. Also you can see the um, there is a, a posterior medial fragment of the uh, pilon variant involving the posterior medial um, well profound and the uh, CT scan reveal, CT scans reveal displaced comminuted fractures of the medial and lateral malleolar with and posterior malleolar with multiple osteochondral fragments especially posterior medial colliculi of the tibial profound uh, still with still subluxed uh, posteriorly subluxed talus So this type of fracture is um, it's called a trimalleolar fracture with a pilon variant or pilon trimalleolar fractures. So this is the 3D image or 3D uh, reconstruction of the CT scan. Um, so which clearly shows the two uh, posterior malleolar fragments. Uh, involving the posterior malleoli as well as the posterior medial colliculus of the medial malleoli, uh, medial including medial malleoli with the tibial plafond or the posterior medial uh, tibial plafond with comminuted uh, osteochondral fragments. In the first stage of the operation, the lateral malleoli fracture was approached through the direct lateral. Um, uh, direct lateral skin incision and fracture was reduced uh, well and fixed with one third tubular and 3.5 uh, screws. So it is a standard uh, fixation of the uh, f uh, of the lateral manual like to obtain um, a full normal length of the um, lateral manual eye fibular length and then um, the posterior malleoli was fixed percutaneously with anterior to posterior cancellous uh, 3.5 cancellous screws through stab incisions uh, through anterior st stab incisions keeping the ankle in dorsiflexion and push reduction of the posterior malleoli anterior um, and push reduction anteriorly, pushing the posterior, frag, malle, posterior malleolar fragment anteriorly, what we call a push reduction and fixation with um, anterior to posterior uh, percutaneous fixation of the fragments. So open reduction internal fixation of the posterior medial tibial plafond um, pilon fracture and medial malleolar fractures with malleolar screw uh, fixed with the malleolar screws and one third tubular buttress plating and tension band plating technique through posterior medial approach.
which was quite a successful um, surgical procedure. And these are the intraoperative fluoroscopic uh, X-ray images taken at various stages of the sur surgical procedure. Um, so very good reduction of articular surface and fixation with of pilon and trimalar fractures by 130 tubular plates and screws and buttress tension plating technique. So at the end of the operation, patient, um, uh, the leg and ankle, foot and ankle was placed in um, uh, below knee uh, back slap splint, and um, which will be changed two days later with change of dressing, and patient will be uh, on non weight bearing uh, uh, crutch walking for next two months, and. Um, and patient will be allowed progressive weight bearing after 68 weeks with full rare. Caswis will be removed at the end of um, two weeks under the removal of the um, stitches, skin stitches and patient will allowed to do range of motion exercises, non weight bearing range of motion exercises for two weeks and then uh, for you know, non weight bearing range of motion exercises for six to eight weeks and then progressive weight bearing full weight bearing as tolerated Thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, if you like it, please share it and give thumbs up and please subscribe.